Hi all, welcome back. So today's topic under partial differentiation is constraint optimization using Lagrangian multiplier. So the most common business and economic problems involves finding the value of independent variables that maximize or minimize the objective function subject to various constraints. These constraints could be the production level or cost or budget. So these could be anything but the steps for finding the optimum value is same. So uh, whenever the question is there, you have to write your original problem as this that maximize function in terms of x, y subject to constraint in terms of x, y equals to k or when it is minimized. So minimize function x, y subject to constraint h, x, y equals to k where this k is constant. So we will keep one question as uh, as a means for you to understand all the steps simultaneously. So suppose this is our example and we have to find maxima or minima for this function subject to this constraint. So number one step is that you have to rewrite constraint as implicit function which implies that you have to put your constant that is k from right side to the left side. So this is this that is h x y minus k equals to 0 and you are giving this equation a name that is g x y. So suppose in this question we have to write our constraint as implicit function it will be 8 x minus 2 y minus 20. So this is your rewriting the constraint. Okay. Then the next step is that you have to formulate the composite function. So the composite function is the objective function plus lambda into this gxy. This is your constraint function and this function is the implicit function. So as per our original problem, it should be 8x square plus 2y square minus 18 plus lambda bracket 8x minus 2y minus 20. So this is our composite function. Now the next third step is that we have to find the critical points and these critical points can be found out by finding the partial derivative of f. f in this case is this f that is the composite function. So this is the capital F with respect to x then you have to put them equals to 0 then you have to find it with respect to y then you have to put that equals to 0 and then you have to find with respect to lambda and then again you have to put equals to 0 and after forming all the equations you have to solve for x y and lambda so let's begin so our first is derivative a partial derivative of f with respect to x so this with respect to now x so this is 8 is constant x square is power rule so 2x so this is 16x y is constant so 0 this is 0 then lambda into this 8x is 8 this is 0 0 so this is 8 lambda when you will equate this to 0 then the value of x is minus 8 by 16 that is minus lambda by so this is your equation 1. Then next you have to find the partial derivative of this function with respect to now y. So in this case it is 0. 2y square is 2 into 2y that is 4y. Then lambda is constant so this is common. 8x is 0. 2y is minus 2. Minus 20 is 0 so this is minus 2 lambda. So this is your value with respect to y. Now you will equate it to 0. So the value of lambda will be 2 by 4 that is uh, lem uh, 2 lambda by 4. So this is lambda by 2. So this is your equation 2. Now the third is that you have to put the partial derivative of f with respect to lambda. So when you will uh, find the derivative with respect to lambda your x and y is constant. So this is 0, 0, 0 and the value of lambda is 8x minus 2y minus 20. So this is the entire equation. And when you will equate this to 0, your equation will become this that is 
you have taken 2 as common. So, this is 4x minus y equals to 10. Now, you will put the value of x from equation 1 and y from equation 2 into equation 3. And when you put the values, so x is minus lambda 2, y is lambda 2. 10, then when you solve it, you will find the lambda value as minus 4. So, when it is minus 4, then x value is 2 and y value is minus 2. So, these are the two critical points that we have determined by finding the solution of these partial derivatives. So, after following step 3, now step 4 is second order condition that is Hessian determinant. This Hessian determinant, this is the formula and this is the determinant method and the formula is this. So, this is 0, then this is gx and corresponding also this is gx, then this is gy, then this is also gy and these are fxx, fyy and fyx and fxy. Okay, we already know that the value of this and this should be equal. So, we have to find all the values separately. Then we have to substitute the values into this determinant. And then we have to solve for delta. And if the delta value is greater than 0, we say that the point xy, which is in our case are 2 and minus 2, gives the local maxima. And if delta is less than 0, we say that the points gives local minima. So, this is very easy. Let's see how we can find the values of all these variables. So, first is gx. So, our gx is this, right? So, we have to find gx means the partial derivative of gx with respect to x. So, this is 8x is 8 minus this is constant. This is constant. So, this is just 8. gy. So, this is the same partial derivative of this gx function with respect to now y. So, 8x is 0. This is minus 2. This is 0. So, this is minus 2. Now, fxx. So, this is the derivative of, this is the direct second order partial derivative of fx. And we have already find out fx in our step 3, that is 16x plus 8 lambda. So, when we will find this again with respect to x, the value is 16. Similarly, now we have to find the second order direct partial, uh, partial derivative of fy with respect to y. So, this value we have already calculated in step 3. So, when we will find its derivative again with respect to y, this will be 4. Now, if it, it, uh, now it is fxy means we are finding the derivative of fx with respect to now y. So, this is the second order cross partial derivative. So, when we will do it with respect to y, so there is nothing y, everything is constant, so it is 0. Now, this is fyx. So, fyx means we are finding the second order cross partial derivative of fx now with respect to uh, fy with respect to x. So, this is your fy that is 4y minus 2 lambda that we have already found out in our step 3. Now, we will find the derivative with respect to x. So, there is nothing x, everything is constant. So, it is 0 and this value is always same. After finding the values, we will simply put them in the this determinant formula. So, this is 0 already. gx is 8. So, 8 and 8. gy is minus 2. So, minus 2 and minus 2. Then this is fxx. So, fxx is 16 and fyy is 4. And fxx, yx and xy are 0 and 0. So, when you will solve this with the first row. So, 0 as it is multiplication. When whatever you will multiply with 0 is 0 only. Then this is minus 8 into Deleting the second column and first row, it is 32 minus 0. Then it is minus 2. Then deleting the first row and third column, it is 0 minus, mi, um, minus 16 into minus 2 is minus 32. So when you will solve this, you will find this value as minus 320. 
if it is still unclear then please see the matrices and determinants video series where i have uh, where i have made a video of solving this determinants okay so now the value is minus 320 and when the delta value is less than 0 we say that our function uh, we say that our critical points x y that is 2 minus 2 is a point of relative minima and with the help of that we can calculate our function our function is 8x square plus 2y square minus 18 so we'll substitute x as 2 y as minus 2 when we'll solve this the value is minus uh, the value is 22 so our function is minimum when the critical points are 2 and minus 2. I hope this video is clear to you and you have already subscribed to my channel. In case not then please do it right now because I am going to prepare the videos on all the topics of business mathematics for BCom honors as well as for BCom program. So please like this video and also share with your friends in different colleges and always give me the feedback in case you find any which can improve my videos for the further topics. Thank you so much for watching this video.